I would like to rework uh, uh, many words interpretation, but I know I'm here confusing a pure physical process with symbolic one where this would have been possible. You know, this uh, rejoining it not in this sense, because as for this uh, 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 time tra travels and so on, you know, which is a wonderful, totally pessimist version of it. I forgot the title. You know, the the the, the British now he's a little bit old actor Christopher Fry. He played Oscar Wilde also in the movie. No, Doesn't yeah. Matter. He wrote a novel, which is so desperately pessimist. He. It's even done almost realistically, scientifically, it's nonsense. A guy, a scientist, whose family died in Auschwitz, blah, 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 wants to prevent this. So he invents a rather primitive time travel machine. Not you can move up and down. Just you pick up a moment in time and you can do some little change there. So what? She does in this, is this, this scientist, she, there was in the village where Hitler was born, a small stream above from which all the village was drinking water. So she puts around the time of when Hitler had to be conceived, she puts into the water very limited intervention, just some poisonous element which makes women infertile. So Hitler is not born. Then he steps out of his laboratory and goes into the world and finds a nightmare. Nazism developed, but instead of Hitler, somebody like Werner von Braun, a much more able scientist, became the leader and develop the bomb and the Nazis won. So here we have a wonderful, totally pessimistic denouement. He tries to go back to bring back Hitler. You know, so that at least the good guys will win. The, the, I love, uh, speaking about alternate histories, there is a wonderful book that I love. I forgot the title. A full book on alternate histories stories about what might have happened with Hitler. There are the usual ones. He survived, went to Argentina, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then different battles, uh, how he might have won. But my favorite one is in his youth. Isn't this wonderful alternate history? Hitler succeeds as a painter and uh, puts into painting his horrible visions, becomes a great modernist, becomes a celebrated artist, and end of Nazism, <laughs> so on, you know. Although this is, I know, I don't take it seriously, but it's very refreshing to think along these terms. That's all I'm saying. 